Hey, welcome back to, to the Breach of Neo Mania. So we got a new pilot, which is proving herself worthwhile. Um, I think I want to do Meridia next. A lot of power there. We don't need it, though. 2 HP on the cactus. Hmm. Let's see how it goes. do trigger first, so I can't move there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Gemini missiles are probably a good one here. You have the two damage, right? Yes. No, geysers go first, okay. <laughs> Thought I'd make the same mistake again, but uh, no, 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 no. Where can you... Yeah, attack order, there it is. Yeah, environment goes first. So you're toast. Blocking you is not that good of an idea. By that I mean blocking spawns. It's a lot of spawns though, but... Like, it's a lot of spawns. get some use out of uh, this. I'm just gonna... I got three health. Um, okay, first of all, we'll do this. Then that. Things, if you move you out of the way, you won't actually get a kill. I mean, you could get a kill. It's not really how you plan on using this, the target strike is usually better for the uh, ability to push, but in this case it uh, nabs us a kill, so... I'll allow it. that's enough to get a kill on him. Alternatively... You get a double kill. <clears throat> nice. 12 enemies dead. Sure you could, Henry. Until the batteries run out. and in preparation of the Hive Warrior.
Don't have a lot of AoE, unfortunately. You're smoke immune, aren't you? I'm actually not sure what would happen here. If I don't, well, can we block him from sprouting? Is what I'm wondering here. He can't move anymore, so he's just like stuck there, or what? is an attack. And yeah, you're just stuck there now. <laughs> cool. We can still kill him if you have an empty turn, I guess. Yes, water is killing plants now. Cause you know... Done and done. Once again, flying through. I go for a seven me storehouse. Sure. Mm, I think I'd rather have something like this going on. Two alphas. We have our pot coming in. He's going to have a real hard time attacking something. <clears throat> um, let's see. I would like to have you end up here. I think what I'm going to do is this. You move to here. Fire. He's going to jump here, kill him, you get some acid on the field as well. Okay. It's kind of a two for one, I guess. Order says green light. Alternatively, though, we can do this after moving, though. Then you would kill him, right? As long as nothing actually changes.
He doesn't move because he doesn't have anything to chomp on. Yeah, I think the cactus will kill him in this setup. Either that or it cancels attack, which I'm also fine with. There's I warrior, bro. Jumping on him sounds lovely, doesn't it? How do we get that to go well? You can do it. Yeah. Um, why don't you just shoot him? We could have let the reflex fire do the work, but this will work as well. Fun. Give the Hive Warrior a taste of his own medicine. He attacks, gets killed, attacks, gets killed. And these two can just uh, watch it happen. attention to where she is. He's a pretty potent pilot. <clears throat> Julius Kerr, have the player face smoke on or around this mech is absorbed and spread to adjacent enemies. Well, we are still making smoke and assuming we put you in this one. There will always be smoke, right? Yeah, we lose the mech reactor from you, which is unfortunate, but I kind of want to see how Winds of War does things. It's going to make it even worse if we finally do have to get rid of the rocket artillery. Uh, volcanic vents, wildfire... Wildfire sounds interesting. Sure. Do we have any convenient block fire points? Actually, we won't be able to, will we? Because he's gonna move the smoke. Hmm. It's only adjacent smoke, right? On or around. So yeah, so this bit of smoke should be safe, actually. We don't actually want you to shoot because you'll start a fire. Uh, 
Uh, let's move you up one, I guess. Yeah. And look at all the enemies it's spread to. <laughs> all none of them. Okay, um... Again, that force style here is annoying. Um... Attack team you. Oh, shit, the fire truck can't get there. Um, you wouldn't move. Um, target strike could have worked. But we could keep that to deal with a fire somewhere. I could give up the copter. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let let's have another look at things. you here we can douse fire on that tile I think there we go <clears throat> and again you could sacrifice the helicopter to make sure Fire doesn't spread anywhere we don't want it to, but uh, we'll just do this with it for now. We'll then uh, take care of this tile with it on the next one. We still have target strike that we could theoretically dump there. Um, I think he will still do his attack there. This might be where we need to use our targeted strike. Uh, let's see. We need to deal with everything here, don't we? You have three damage on you, right? Yes. So that takes care of you. You'll burn to death. You... Here and shoot him to death. You can do target strike like this, and you can block this guy's attack. <clears throat> I think this is okay. into the wall but then he'd be no longer on fire I would kill the fire truck your attack can be blocked with you but again if you can get kills we should aspire to get them 
Uh, oh, here's an idea. If we do this, then we have the Gemini missiles. And then you can go punch him in the face. Unless the fire truck can't get there. Okay, um... Guess we just block your attack. Because I don't know if the fire truck can spew through next, so I'm not gonna risk starting a forest fire there. Um, yeah, block the attack. We're done here. Wrap it up. Springsea leader, the one who bounces around like I don't know. Are jumping beans like a real thing? I don't actually know. Somehow, I just feel like what I just did was a huge mistake. I think you will shoot at um, at that one. I think. She will... I don't know why I suddenly think this one's a she, but... This one will jump to here, which should count as an attack, so... I don't know, maybe. Again, smoke is just straight up gone. Alright, Springseed Leader is dead. So unless we want to feed all that experience to just one person, we don't have to bother with it anymore. Let's see where the smoke goes. The answer is nowhere. <laughs> Just gonna be a real sad display of things. Yep. Lol. Move smoke to enemies doesn't work. Quite lovely. Shooting won't get to kill. I think you're just gonna move out of the way. You're not gonna get shot anyway, but you know. I guess I could have moved you here. You would have sh maybe shot three times. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds a little bit like overkill, but. Um, them's the brakes. Oh, is that why he's constantly mentioning Kern? Because this name is called... Is he named Kern? Why are you yelling at the 
Leif from our steel, but we have pilot names that I believe. Great fence, yay! I like you. I think I'd rather have the crocket here. We've already done um, detritus, so we're not gonna see too much more acid, I think. So, have the rocket, yeah. Okay, we do have weapons now, so we're probably going to be saying goodbye to a lot of stuff. Ooh, do I have a face cannon, though? Alright, <clears throat> let's get this thing done. Uh, keep in mind, we have the penalty cores that we can still use, so... Um, I'm going to give the face cannon to you. You're gonna get... The Crockett and the Grapple. <clears throat> now why? Well, because I think I might be able to just grab an enemy. And then he's free to do his attack, and then you shoot him. Right? I don't know. Uh, yeah, your name is Kern. Okay, that means the Tri-Striker goes to you. So all the stuff we're not going to be using anymore. Uh, did we buy a critical? Yeah, I'm not going to bother with this, I think. Uh, yeah, it's it, it takes power, right? Yeah, I'll just put it on, but I don't think I'll ever power it. Uh, I have to, but do I really know? Um, we're not going to see the effects of it, because if we do, then things are way worse than I thought. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all the new toys, right? I believe so. So this goes, this goes, this goes, that goes, that goes. And I get two more rep, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Uh, I'll hold on to this pilot for now, I guess. Let's... Oh, I need to get my penalty cores here. We're actually going to be using them. Okay. You're getting a core for extra damage on that thing. You're not getting anything. Let's check penalty cores. So we get one here. Um... Yeah, they have one penalty core that we get to use, so I got two more cores left. Oh, I need to get rid of target strike as well. Um, that's fine, I'm just not going to use it. I'm not going to... I'm just going to pull it off so I don't get tempted to use it. Uh, so with two more cores, I think they're going to go in here, right? <clears throat> Yeah, and the first core we get is probably gonna go to the extra damage on you. Actually, looking at things, I guess I can keep you. Not sure if I'll ever gonna use it, but. Me, yeah, I, I could keep you, right? Because I am using everything from the store. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, yeah technically I am allowed to keep it then. Would I have kept this one? I'd rather have, would have kept the punch, but the punch we've got for a while now, so I guess it was time to get rid of it. All right, cool. Um, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're still enjoying the series. Free shows before becoming like a hand or something. Already. See you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.